Now, in a couple of days, the war in Ukraine will hit the one year mark after the Russians invaded Ukraine. Now, right after that invasion, we sent our journalists to Poland to cover the humanitarian crisis. And when the war continued months later, our Washington correspondent Rachel Knapp and I, we went to Ukraine to show you the reality of war. Well, tonight, a little bit of Ukraine is coming to the U.S. WNY Washington correspondent Rachel Knapp joins us live from the Kennedy Center. Rachel. Good evening, Nick. The Kennedy Center is a well-known performing arts center and audiences here were able to catch a special performance by Ukrainian ballerinas from the United Ukrainian Ballet. Before the show begins at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., ballerinas take their time to stretch, warm up and practice their leaps and turns. This is a unique company. These dancers are Ukrainian refugees. I had this idea with my producer to get as many Ukrainian dancers to Holland as possible and to create a company so that they could be dancing until the war lasted. And um, so now we are a company of 65 and um, we are like a... Following the Russian invasion in Ukraine, the United Ukrainian Ballet was created as a safe haven in Holland for these artists, giving them a chance to continue their passion while they wait for the war to end. They are now on a world tour, performing a piece called Giselle. By Alexei Vatmansky, who is a very good friend of mine, is very special because he made it especially for us, and it's um, it shows how proud and how strong these dancers are and how much they love their work. Giselle is a story about love, madness, betrayal, death and forgiveness. They say these are themes that resonate with today's situation in Ukraine. We have become a company and um, we are so strong together and they keep on dancing that they, um, yeah, it's, it's a very emotional Coming up at 11 p.m. on WENY News, you'll hear from the ballerinas themselves and they talk about the struggles their families in Ukraine are still facing, as well as the message they hope will be conveyed through their performance. Nick, back to you.